Hi everyone! Hey, I'm really excited to share with you today my next design team project for Country Craft Creations. I made a Christmas themed mini album and I used the paper collection from Echo Park. It is called Twas the Night Before Christmas. Um, as you can see, Volume 1, um, and I also received Volume 2. Um, and I used uh, I have a few pages left, but I use quite a bit of the paper, and um, yeah, I'm super excited. So let me just show you real quickly. So this is the mini album. I'm calling it my Merry and Bright album. It is the covers are six and a half by six and a half. The pages themselves are six by six. There are five page groupings, if you want to call it that. Let's see if you can see from the top. You can see one, two, three, four, five, and then there's a little smaller um, little envelope page. I'll show you when we get to it. Um, so here um, there's some gorgeous flower, pearly flower trim that I used. Uh, underneath that is a little bit of lace, a uh, smaller lace that I had, and then here's some of the beautiful lace that Tammy provided. Um, and then here is some greenery that's actually glittery gold, um, some leaves. And then under this gorgeous point, sparkly poinsettia, it's hard to see it, but there is um, there is a white glittery snowflake. And then I also have um, like a glittery white ball in the, in the center. Um, and then um, I used one of the cut-aparts. Uh, three by four cut aparts and it says may your days be merry and bright and then also on the cover there's just a little uh, epoxy um, um, plate set a sticker and then on the side um, I love this green and gold striped paper any stripe I love stripes I love plaids awesome and then I use this gorgeous um, red glitter bow that I had. It just works perfectly. And then I have this um, jingle bell that I'm sure is going to get on your nerves as we go through this because it makes a lot of noise. All right. So let me jump right in. Uh, you can get, a, I haven't counted it, but uh, you can fit a lot of photos uh, in this book. So again, just to keep it simple, um, I wanted the gorgeous paper to kind of speak for itself. So I didn't want to do anything to uh, crazy with a design. Uh, just a really quick pocket page with one of the striped papers and one of the chipboard elements. It says Merry Christmas. Gave it some depth. Um, again, here's another chipboard element. Tis the season to be jolly. Um, and then there's some more of that gorgeous striped paper made into a booklet. And then this was the Twas the Night Before Christmas went all through the house. Everybody knows that. Um, and then some, I love the little presents here. They're so cute. And then the back is like a dark navy blue with um, some snowflakes printed on. And then on the front here, this is page one. Um, again, another one of the cut aparts. And then I made um, a flap with a little chipboard stopper that actually holds that cut apart. You can actually put a uh, photo back here and then you can put another, fit another tag behind there and there's plenty of space. Then here's another the page. The flap lifts up and here's one of the, um, the layered stickers and again another one of the cut aparts. I used a lot of the cut aparts. They were just awesome. Um, and I backed most of them with cardstock and it said with the stockings and it says to all to all, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And then inside here, again, just not getting anything too fancy. Um, two diagonal pockets. And then a beautiful piece of really dark red uh, cardstock with a ho-ho-ho sticker. And here again is another tag, or I'm sorry, a um, cut apart made into a booklet. And then I just love that, that really navy blue with a little wreath. Tag, tuck that right back in there. Again, so here is each page. So there are five of these. Each page has one of these six by five and three quarters, I believe. Um, a big tag where you can put photos on or journaling. And I 
punched each edge with, this is the Martha Stewart punch. It's pretty old. Um, I, I want to say this is called Aspen Snowflake. Um, but I, for whatever reason, I didn't write on this one. Uh, that's how old it is. But anyway, so I use that. I punch the edge of each one of those. You don't have to. Um, I just think it gives it actually a pretty cool effect. Uh, I see all the snowflakes. And uh, also what would be really pretty is to use an edge dot, uh, edge border die, or whatever that's called. Um, yeah, you have so many different choices. So then here's the back of page one. Just a few flaps. Okay, love Love, love, love green and red plaid. Um, then I just added a couple of stickers and a little tab. And there's, again, the, the paper's just so pretty. This I love. I had it on the cover. Um, I was sad when I cut it all up. <laughs> then here's another, again, one of the stickers from the collection. Here's the stockings. Then here I just took one of the 3x4 cut aparts. The Happy Holidays and it made it into just a little open pocket. It's hard to see it um, on the screen but I can see I added some Link of Stella to the poinsettia so it's nice and sparkly. So then here we have, um, I just took a cut apart Merry and Bright and put it on the back of a, or backed it with a piece of the pattern paper. Then this one says we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And then this is one of the element pieces, I'm um, sorry, one of the ephemera pieces. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. And they all just tuck right back in there. Page two has three tags, uh, three flaps, I'm sorry. Um, this one says joyful. Each one of these little stoppers uh, lift up so that you could slide a photo underneath. And I left it... Um, I left it blank on the back so you, they could journal. And then here's some, an epoxy sticker. And that one has a wreath. Here's the front of that one. That one has a nutcracker soldier guy. And over um, underneath the flaps, there is a angled pocket. And with a sticker, Merry Christmas. Then I just had this... I call it firecracker ribbon. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but it actually had a wire in it, and I just pulled the wire out. And here's, again, the stocking to say Merry Christmas. And then this one, super cute. Santa Claus is coming to town. It's one of those layered uh, stickers. Just made another little tag. So as you can see, so far we're only um, a page and a half in, and there's a lot of room for a lot of photos. There's another tag. Then this one has a belly band with a little little stopper down here. This was originally I took just a regular sticker, um, put on some cardstock and kind of cut around it a little so the cardstock still showed. Um, and then I noticed some of the epoxy, epoxy stickers had the exact same uh, little piece of candy and it's hard to, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, it's really shiny in person. And then these are just some of the banners, stickers. Um, and then there are some more of the little epoxy stickers. I know it's hard to see those. Then I just took a piece of the pattern paper, which I thought was so, so pretty. Took a sticker off of the sticker sheet, and then that became the tag that hides behind the belly band. Okay, so this is page one, two, this is page three. Yes. Um, just a standard pocket page. Um, I just think that just looks so pretty. Um, so here again is some more of that green and red plaid and it says we wish you a Merry Christmas. Again, a piece of the green cardstock and I just took some Baker's Twine I had, added a little, uh, one of the chipboard stickers. This one says do not open until Christmas Day. And then here is just some, um, of that red ribbon and then I just put some lace underneath. Here is a really pretty Noel uh, 4x6 tag. It just tucks right back in there. And then here's um, some of that beautiful blue seam binding from Tammy. It is just so pretty. So, so pretty. And it's just the Twas the Night Before Christmas saying again. There's the tag. Over here, 
It actually is supposed to look like that. Um, we have a flap, uh, Tis the Season to be Jolly sticker. Um, and then I just left that plain because I thought that was so pretty. That's the inside of the flap. And then over here, this with just, again, some black and white and red plaid this time with some red sparkly ribbon. This uh, Christmas tree sticker is a sticker from a sticker sheet. I just backed it with uh, some red cardstock. I didn't want to fussy cut too much. Um, and then I put one of the epoxy stickers on the star. It's hard to see it, but in person it's really sparkly, shiny. Um, here's one of the tags uh, from the ephemera. And this is one of the three by four cut aparts. It was the night before Christmas. All right, so that closes up there. Here we are on to page four. The Santa Claus is coming to town. This is a gatefold page. Um, it's really simple to do. Um, what I did was take some, because I thought that Santa kind of like got lost in the busyness of the paper. So I just took some gold glitter glue that I had um, and outlined. This is a cut apart page. Um, sorry, a three by four cut apart. And it says Santa Claus is coming to town. Um, and I used a magnet to hold it shut. Um, so then here's inside the gatefold. Um, over here, these are on these two flaps. These are some of the frames that were in the ephemera pa package. Um, I left it open on the top, and this one, I think I left this one open. Yeah, left it on the top so that you could sli slide a photo down through there. Um, and then here is the inside pocket, and this washi tape here. This right here is washi tape that came with my design team kit. Um, there's a lot of it in here and I use quite a bit. And it's a really nice vibrant red but it looks kind of darker here because of the dark navy blue that's in this pattern. <clears throat> and then here what I did was made a little booklet. This is one of the four by six cut aparts. And it says now dash away dash away dash away all with Santa and his little buddies. Then on the front, I just took one of the stickers, put it on a piece of green cardstock, and I just made a little booklet. I just think it's so adorable. Oh, let's do this first. And then here again is a four by six, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and with a little village. Just love that little village. Okay, that all tucks away. There's the, the tab. And here's the back of the page. Uh, there is a flap and an inside side pocket. Um, I just made a little peekaboo window. Oops, I can't see that. Made a little peekaboo window with some vinyl. Um, put a Rudolph sticker on it. And then that flaps open. To more, some more of that really pretty red paper with a little nutcracker sticker. And then in... Oops, Santa's coming! Oh. And then in that pocket... I actually took, this was one of the, the insides of one of those frames I just showed you on the prior page, and I just made it into a little tag. Then here, this is one of the ephemera pieces, May Your Days Be Merry and Bright, and it has a little resin Santa hat and some seam binding. This one's some of that beautiful buffalo plaid, I think that's what that's called, um, and a, a evergreen swag. And then this is one of the cut aparts while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And I just tuck all that right back inside this little pocket. Always right there. Um, then it opens this way. And there's a side pocket with three um, chipboard stickers. They're like little banners. Uh, Santa, cheer, presents, and peace. And then two, two tags that slide into the side pocket. All right, and then the last page has, um, I magnetized this one to hold it shut. Um, this is one of the chipboard elements that I just attached here, added some sticker, uh, shiny ribbon on the inside. Just left it pretty blank. Um, you could journal on here, you could add some photos, added some more washi tape. Um, this paper 
it looks pretty on the screen, but in person, this pattern paper is really pretty. It's a gorgeous navy blue with the little snowflakes and a really pretty gold color. Um, and then I just added a big Noel sticker that was on the sticker sheet. There's the tag for that one. Then over here, whoops, this is the last page. It is a pocket page, three, two side pockets. Um, some more of the four by six cards, Mayor Daisy, Merry and Bright, that I just made into little booklets. And then this one, ooh, whoa. I almost ripped that one. <laughs> this one says Mary and Bray with the holly and the pine cones. It's so pretty. And that gorgeous green paper. And they tuck back in there. There is one more pocket here, I promise, but I didn't, I just realized I didn't put anything in that pocket. So I will have to get something in that pocket. Um, and then here's that little surprise mini envelope. I think this was actually called a tagalope. Um, at least that's what was on the package. I bought this years and years ago, and I'm finally using them up um, slowly but surely. Um, but we've all seen this kind of envelope. I, f I just don't remember the name of it. Um, mostly in office, inter-office uh, correspondence envelopes. Um, there's another little resin Santa Claus. <laughs> I love his little face. And then inside there, I just tagged, or I just added a couple of the extra little... Um, the three by fours uh, journal cards, cut aparts. And then on the back of it, I added some more of that pretty holly paper. And have yourself a Merry Little Christmas um, chipboard sticker. Chipboard element, sorry. And then the last page, oh, come on. The last page, again, similar to the front inside cover, is just a little side pocket. Um, with three of the chipboard elements for some dimension. There's that pattern paper, or the presents, uh, and that pattern paper that I like so much on um, some red and gold cardstock, po polka dotted cardstock. Jeez, I'm having a hard time speaking today. And then there's Santa in a little booklet. And then what's Christmas without carolers? Again, on one of the... Uh, the front side of the cardstock was this pretty goldish color, and the inside is this beautiful deep navy blue. It's just so nice. So that is the book. And there's the back. So there's an epoxy sticker as a Christmas tree. And there's the holly. Yeah, and there's that glittery ribbon. Just so pretty. Again, there's the spine. And that's the front. So that is my Merry and Bright album. Um, I hope you like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I will follow up shortly with the tutorial on how to make the inside pages. Thanks a lot, everybody.